Hey guys, I'm Deepthi Desikin and in today's video, I'm going to be swatching and comparing some popular shades that you have asked me to compare and find if they are dupes or not. Like, I always get these comments like, are these two shades similar? Maybe like uh, Sugar Brandy Harrington and Swiss Beauty Brandy Harrington. So I asked a couple of you to leave me comments on my com community post as well as my Instagram. I'm so glad a lot of you take that time out from the day to actually engage with those posts and let me know what you're actually looking for, what you want comparison of. So I did take most of them into consideration of course i can't swatch all of those that were left for uh like that were left in the comments and some of them like were completely different shades so i haven't swatched it at all like some people ask me comparison for um mac dance with me with mac all fired up one is a pink toned red shade and the other one is a straight up pink shade maybe with a little bit of red undertones to it so they're not going to match at all so there's no point comparing those but apart from that like similar looking shades and even i would have those genuine queries like okay are these similar those are the ones i will be swatching in this video all of these swatches are done in natural light i started filming this video really early in the morning hope you guys enjoy let's get started now the first shade that a lot of you ask me if it's similar is nika jade rose with swiss beauty brandy harrington now this is what they look like side by side like i mentioned in the couple of comments that asked me as well they are quite similar like when you look at it just like that but nika jade rose does have a little bit more red hints to it as compared to swiss beauty brandy harrington swiss beauty has a little bit more of a mauve hint to it it is a pretty good match i would say but the red in nika jade rose is very very prominent and then a couple of you asked me to swatch sugar brandy harrington with uh, swiss beauty brandy harrington it is so confusing to mention these names but it it again has that same um, difference in red undertones. So Sugar has more red and Swiss Beauty has more mauve. Now I'm also swatching Nika and Sugar side by side so, so that you can see the shades together. I feel like um, my Nika lip crayon is not coming out as pigmented as my Sugar one and also as creamy as this one is but they are very similar shades. And maybe again, you know, Sugar also doesn't have that much of red when compared to Nika Jade Rose. But when you see it like up close, you can't really make out that I'm wearing two different shades. They are like pretty similar, 99.9%. Next up to find if uh, Kiro Spicy Cinnamon and Mask Girl Power are dupes or not. Now. I feel like Mars is a little bit more brown looking as compared to Kiro. Kiro has a little bit more of that reddish orange burnt undertones to it. Both are like br burnt terracotta kind of shades. So one has more brown and more of a matte finish than the other. That is the Mars one has more of that matte finish and it's more brown than Kiro. But I wouldn't say that this is a very close match. But in case you were avoiding buying similar shades and you know similar color family, of course, you can skip this. So the next comparison that I got on my comment section was Mars um, girl power versus Nika Chai. I mean, they are like brown shades with a little bit of red hints to it. So they are of similar color family, but they are not a very good match because Nika's uh, pigmentation is a little bit runny. It's a little bit watery and it doesn't like build up to the mass pigmentation on the lips. But yeah, you can say that the color is quite like close. And from the hand swatches, you can see they look like completely different shades. Like the undertone of the mask lip crayon is more predominant when you do the hand swatch as compared to like all the other shades. You can see it right now. The Nika one does have a little bit more red burgundy hints to it. But mask is just like a straight up brown shade with a little like red hints to it. So next comparison is Kiro liquid lipstick in the shade Nutmeg Nude versus Faces uh, Comfy Matte Liquid Lip Color in the shade Note to Self. Note to Self is a very popular shade and it is also a lot affordable compared to the Kiro liquid lipstick. But the shade Note to Self is a little bit like browner and deeper compared to Nutmeg Nude. So you can see from the swatches how they look. But then, you know, if Kiro Nutmeg Nude was a that bit darker it would be exactly similar to faces note to self like this i can say would be like um, maybe 95 percent match now, in terms of formulation the kiro liquid lipstick can be a lot more comfortable for a lot of people compared to the faces liquid lipstick but i feel like the faces one does last like way more than the kiro liquid lipstick on my lips and it can dry your lips out there's no denying that but it does stay put on my lips 
like throughout the day but kiro one is a lot more moisturizing and it feels very lightweight whereas the faces one can feel heavy and drying on your lips now here we have a swatch of a plum a liquid lipstick in the shade coco mocha to faces a uh, liquid lipstick in the shade note to self and i feel like these two shades are very very identical so if you have one you don't really have to get the other now if you have both you're like me you're stuck with two shades that look almost similar and another comparison I have seen happening quite often on my channel is Wet n Wild Give Me Mocha and Lakme Liquid Lipstick in the shade Brown Souvenir. They're not sh similar shades at all. Lakme is a little bit more like dusty brown burgundy shade and Give Me Mocha you guys know. It's a very different shade and it's a lot lighter compared to Lakme Brown Souvenir. They are similar color families but again completely different shades but if you wanted to get the Lakme one you can. The formula of this is really nice. This is my everyday liquid lipstick. I wear this pretty much all the time. It doesn't dry my lips out very long lasting as well and doesn't dry down in the tube. Actually it's quite runny in the tube and it takes a little bit of a time to dry down completely on your lips as well. Then the next comparison which you know sometimes it's so nice how close you guys can get is uh, Swiss Beauty non-transfer lipstick in the shade Morph Taupe with Lakme Forever Matte Liquid Lip Color and this one is in the shade Nude Dream and I feel like if, if Morph Taupe was in a liquid lipstick form it would look exactly like this but just that the swiss beauty lipstick is way more pigmented than the lacme liquid lipstick because you know this swiss beauty lipstick formulation is something out of the world it's so good you can't even say it's this affordable like it's so pigmented comfortable great shade selection some of these shades have been bought back if i can find them i will link them in the description box below so do check them out but this is how the shade looks like side by side Next up, the next comparison we have is Nika Diana with uh, Plum Jazzberry. I can't believe, you know, how close this comparison is and how did you even spot that these could be similar shades? Whoever left this comment has a really good eye for like details because these shades are very, very similar on the lips. Maybe the Nika one has a little bit more of that rosy hint and more pigmentation, but the Plum shade is pretty similar and also I feel like sometimes the Nika one can be drying for a lot of people. The plum is a lot more comfortable on the lips. Um, again very subjective but I feel like that and these shades are really similar. Next up swatching uh, Swiss Beauty Cute Nude versus Mars Berry Brave. Uh, again looks like similar color family but Swiss Beauty is a little bit more lighter and has a little bit more of like a mauve hint to it like a pink subtle pink hint to it and very brave has more of that uh, orangey brown uh, undertone to it like a light caramel brown undertone to it but yeah on the lips i feel like uh, they look very similar mass lip crayon is way more pigmented than the swiss beauty lipstick but the swiss beauty lipstick is very comfortable on the lips you can wear it throughout the day and it just has good lasting power as well and it doesn't dry your lips out the mass one can be a little bit drying for people uh, who don't really like like matte lip crayons so i feel like it is a good match just that mass is a little bit deeper but yeah pretty good match i feel like next up we have um mac whirl and Kiro Cinnamon Nude. Now I can understand where this comparison is, is coming from because both of these are like cool tone shades and on the lips you know from far away it like pretty much looks the same but Cinnamon Nude has a little bit more of a cooler brown undertones to it and MAC Whirl on my lips at least has a little bit more purple grey undertone to it. So that's the huge difference between both the shades. We have another super popular shade which is Sugar Baby Houseman and comparison with Color Bar Devilry. This uh, I had swatched about a year ago on my channel like my 50 affordable lipstick dupes. So that's the reason I call these to be dupes. Now Color Bar Devilry does have a little bit more brightness to it and little more purple hints to it but on the lips you can't really make out and they seem like very very similar shades uh, if you can find color bar devilry like the mini size it turns out to be a lot more affordable and cheaper but i think they have discontinued the smaller lip crayon size so i think you have to resort to buying the bigger size of it if you like the way the color bar uh, lip crayon looks on my lips the pigmentation the color it is a little bit more pigmented than the sugar lip crayon itself and also has a tad bit more purple and brightness 
to it so you can choose whichever one you'd want now the next shade that again i was asked to swatch side by side is two faced lady balls and uh kiro liquid lipstick in the shade scarlet poppy now uh scarlet poppy has a little bit more pink hints to it it's more of a cool toned red shade and lady balls has more orange like two it is like more warmer and so these two are completely different shades and you can see it right now i mean like to um, i mean like to people who are completely new to makeup everything looks just like a red shade but the undertones is where it matters and these are not similar shades at all now a shade similar to lady ball red from um kiro is fiery ruby maybe a little bit more fiery than uh, lady balls itself i feel like this is where you know the match arrives both are really bright and almost have like similar undertone to it as well so yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Do let me know if you have any other videos like this in mind, like uh, swatching two shades and seeing if they are similar or not. Let me know in the comment section down below and also let me know what other videos you'd like to watch. So while you're at it, give this video a big thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so to notified every time I upload a new video. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.